Hello, this is Dr. Pregna Shetty, available at Cloud9 Vashi, also available at Nexus Care, Nehru and Sea Woods. Today, my topic of discussion is unexplained infertility. So, many patients come to us where they will undergo evaluation, the basic tests are done, but everything turns out to be normal. So, these patients will have a question that why are we not able to conceive even when all the tests are normal? So that is called unexplained infertility. So before going to the unexplained infertility proper, let us understand what is fertility. So what happens naturally is in the woman around 14th day of her menstrual cycle, she will be releasing one egg and when husband and wife consummate, the sperms will be lodged in the vagina. So it will be lodged in millions about out of million only around thousands or lakhs of sperms will be reaching here in the uterine cavity and from there only about hundreds to thousands of sperms will be reaching here one sperm and egg will meet they will fertilize embryo is formed this embryo will travel back implant here in the uterine cavity and the pregnancy is formed so fecundity that is when a husband and wife try regularly and uh, their chance of conceiving in a month is about 15 to 20 percent by end of one year approximately 87 percent of the couples have to conceive and if they fail to conceive within one year of the regular trying then it is called infertility so the causes of infertility could be in the male factor could be in the female factor but in 30 percent of the cases we do not know what exactly is the cause of their infertility and that is called unexplained infertility so unexplained infertility means when the routine test that we do in a couple whenever they come for infertility evaluations are normal so what are these routine tests ovulation we will check for the number of eggs and we will check whether the woman is ovulating when her number of eggs are normal and if she is ovulating and we also check whether the tubes are patent by a test called HSG and when we do the semen analysis the number and the motile sperms are normal so then what next why does it happen so it doesn't mean that there is no problem so these basic tests can detect only certain problems there could be occult problem in the egg there could be occult problem in the sperm, there could be problem in the fertilization, there could be problem in the implantation. These are all microscopic problems that cannot be detected by the routine test that we do. So that is why it is called unexplained infertility. That doesn't mean that there is no problem. It's just that we do not have the test to detect that problem. So what is the next step? The next step is stepwise treatment of these patients. So first what we will do is we will give the tablets or injections to the woman. Instead of one egg we will uh, force her to or we will treat her to release uh, two or three eggs and have a timed intercourse when the eggs are released. This is called ovulation induction and timed intercourse. When this treatment doesn't work we will move to the next step where we will ask the wife to take the tablets, we will give the injection force two or three eggs to be released and at the time of egg release we will ask the husband to give the sample to us we will remove the uh, debris process and select millions of best motile sperms and we will uh, inoculate it in the uterine cavity this process is called IUI so with this approximately 15 to 20 percent of the couple will conceive and if the patient will not if the patient did not conceive even if this treatment we will move to the next step that is called IVF or HICSI. So IVF or HICSI has one advantage is that it is not only therapeutic it is also diagnostic. Here we will be looking the eggs under the microscope we will be observing how the embryos are growing. So if there is any problems we will can also detect it. And with the IVF or ICSI, about 50 to 60 percent of the couples will conceive. So this is how unexplained infertility is managed. One important advice for the patient is this is a stepwise approach. So patient should have lot of patience 
and perseverance while going through this treatment process. Thank you.